Um, if someone were to ask you uh, that uh, during your presidency, what would you say has been, for example, the most happiest moment, and or oh, what about uh, the darkest or the most unpleasant moment under your presidency? Well, our presidency was focused on dealing with African issues. And I'm very happy that the Security Council gave a lot of consideration, a lot of time to issues concerning peace and security in Africa. In fact, the October month with the Uganda presidency started with a visit by the Security Council to Africa. We uh, visited Uganda, visited the Regional Center for UN, uh, which services UN missions in uh, the African region at Entebbe. Then we had very useful discussions with President Museveni concerning the region, concerning Africa's problems. And from there, we went to the Sudan. In the Sudan, in Juba, we met President Salva Kiir, the president of the government of Southern Sudan, and also first uh, vice president of the Sudan, and his cabinet. We had a very useful discussions with them. We also met members of the civil society. There was a lot of enthusiasm in Southern Sudan by the people, and they are looking forward to the referendum scheduled for the 9th of January next year. From Juba, we went to Darfur and spent a night in El Fasha. In El Fasha, we met UNAMID personnel, including the UNAMID leader, uh, Professor Gambari. We also met the governor of North uh, Darfur, and his staff, and we visited Abshok IDP camp, where many people are gathered because of the conflict uh, in Darfur. So we were able to intimately interact with critical stakeholders uh, in Darfur. And from Darfur, the Security Council mission traveled to uh, Khartoum. In Khartoum, we had good discussions with the Vice President of the Sudan, uh, Mr. Taha, Minister of Foreign Affairs, other mem and other members of Cabinet. We met the Southern Sudan Referendum Commission, and we also met representatives of Southerners who are living in Khartoum and other parts of Northern uh, Sudan. So it gave us some good and inside information about the problems, challenges of implementing the Comprehensive Peace Agreement. We became more informed, better informed, and this helps and has helped the work of the Security Council in as far as it discusses and takes positions over the situation in the Sudan, especially in the full and implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement. So that was uh, the highlight of Africa and Sudan. We have also discussed Somalia and the Security Council really supports uh, the AMISOM. The Security Council supports the government uh, in Somalia, the transitional government uh, of Sheikh Ahmed Sharif, and also supports the efforts of the people of Somalia to stabilize their country after 20 years of anarchy and no good governance. And we expect that the situation in Somalia will, in due course, uh, improve. Of course, apart from Somalia, 
and the Sudan. We have also discussed the situation in DRC, where MONUSCO, formerly MONUC, is supporting the government of DRC to stabilize and build peace in DRC. We did also spend some time discussing Cote d'Ivoire, uh, discussed Chad, and discussed Central African Republic. Of course, I should not be parochial and narrow, because in the same month, the Security Council also touched other topics, especially the Middle East, Nepal, Afghanistan, and Timor-Leste. And apart from the specific country discussions, the Security Council also had three thematic debates. Uh, one debate was on peacekeeping operations in Africa. And this is an important area where Professor uh, Prodi, formerly Prime Minister of Italy, headed a, 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 a panel of experts to see on how best Africa can fund the peacekeeping operations on the continent. So Uganda used the opportunity of its presidency to advance the very good recommendations and proposals uh, made by Prodi and his panel. I can say that Africa's capacity to handle peacekeeping operations is improving every day, as illustrated by the following. In the case of UNAMID, UNAMID is a combined, it's a hybrid of AU force and of UN force. So it's a hybrid force where the AU and the United Nations are working closely together. AMISOM in Somalia is an African force, but heavily supported by the United Nations. So there is improved capacity in Africa handling its peacekeeping operations.